This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today we're in the studio and I'm going to do some mail unboxing. Some of these items are actually from a previous unboxing, but I lost the footage. Like I mentioned in a previous video, I don't really know what happened, but I still have most of the lures here. I'm going to show them off and give credit where credit is due. First off, fish gum, right? So this is a saltwater bait, kind of like fish bites. It is infused with seafood and fiber. I'm going to try it in fresh water, maybe for some catfish, maybe for some panfish. I just wanted to show it off. Fish gum. They do have a YouTube channel, Fish Gum. It's saltwater fishing. Go check it out. I also got another package from Cardoza Lures. They sent me some soft plastics. I've tried their frog before and caught some fish in a previous video. And I got a few Arborgast lures here. I got the Jitterbug, I got a Hula Popper, and I got another Hula Popper. It's in my tackle box. I already unboxed it and tried it. Unfortunately, I didn't get any fish. But I'm pretty sure these were from Miss Lisa. Thanks again for sending them into the show. This box was from David. It has a note that says, Dear Realistic Fishing, me and my family enjoy watching you and your YouTube. Enjoy. Hope you can find some use for these items. Included in this box were the 4-inch Yum Dingers that I caught a bunch of fish on in a previous video. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. Anyway, besides the Yum Dingers, we have Lunker Hunt Custom Swim Baits. So it's a boot tail swim bait with some jig heads. Here we have a Lucky Bug Zombie Max. So this looks like a segmented wake bait or a glide bait. What is this? Fish be warned. Zombie Max Ultra Realistic Swimming Action is irresistible to all predatory fish. So this is an interesting bait. Pretty big. Segmented wake bait? Would you call this a wake bait? I'm not sure. Pretty cool though. Sweet spot tackle. We got some boot tail swim baits. A package of yum pulse minnows. Crappie jigs. Oh man, it looks like they came out of the package. So we got some Laker crappie jigs. They're like fuzzy marabou jigs. We got some more Great Lakes baits here. These look like flukes. Here's a ready to fish inline spinner. Here's a Lunker Hunt Topwater Frog. I think I've caught a fish on this lure before. Here's a Jawbone Topwater Mouse. This is a hollow body mouse. Here's another Lunker Hunt Custom Jig. Kind of a beaver tail on this one. That's interesting. Here's a pack of Z-Man Jerk Sheds. And finally, 5-inch Olive Shed. I'm not sure who makes this, but we got a scrounger jig right here. And a shed body. And that's it. Thanks again to David for sending this box into the show. 
I already fished with the 4-inch Senkos and caught something. And here's the official unboxing since that other video footage is gone. Anyway, thanks again to David. Alright, now that I'm caught up on the previous unboxing, let's get to some stuff I haven't opened yet that I received in the mail. This package is from David in Corona, California. We have a big box of soft plastics here. And a note that says, Alex, please enjoy these soft plastics or give them away. The fish in my lakes don't seem to care for them. You might like the panfish baits too. Enjoy your show especially the rant videos. Thanks for keeping it real. The old toad. You were asking about this. Let's see what's in here. We got some Zoom Super Salt Plus flukes. You can never have too many flukes. We also have some Biospawn Vile Craw. I have used them before. I don't think I've caught a fish on it before, though. Another package of Vile Craw. Here we have a package of 4-inch Yum Dingers. Here's another package of Yum. This is a Watermelon Craw Poppy. Here's another package of Yum, some more soft plastic craws. Here's another Biospawn product, the 5 inch Exo Stick. Here's a package of Havoc Smoke Purple and Copper Money Maker. So this is kind of like a stick bait. Except it has little round ends on it. Pretty cool. Here's another package of Yum Craw Poppy. And another package of the Biospawn Exo Stick. Another Biospawn Exo Stick. Let's take a look at one. This looks like a plastic worm, but it's got a segmented body. You could probably use it as a Senko or a stick bait. Wacky rig. Pretty cool. I'll have to give that a try. Here's another package of Biospawn Vile Craw. All sorts of Biospawn stuff in here. Here's a package of Coontails from Big Bite Baits. I have used this and caught fish. The video is maybe two years old now, but I did use that and it caught fish. Here we have some stick baits from Bass Pro Shops. Sticko Worm. And some Yamamoto Senkos here. This looks like a chartreuse pepper color. Alright, here is a sandwich bag full of soft plastics. Not sure what these are. Pretty cool, some kind of creature bait here with some bat wings on it. Not sure what brand this is. Sort of looks like a robo worm. Can't say for sure though. We have another package of Zoom Flukes. Wow, this is a lot of soft plastics. We got some Zoom Fat Alberts. That's kind of cool. It's like a 
long grub. Here we have some Charlie's worms, flipping baits. They look like flipping craws. Here's a package of Biospawn Plasma Tail. So this is a small worm, kind of like a robo worm. Here's another package of Plasma Tails, much longer here, and we got a six and a half inch version. More Plasma Tails. More Plasma Tails, awesome. Got a large variety of Plasma Tails here. We got some Lake Fork little segmented soft body plastic minnows. We got some Z-Man scented leeches. It's like a little Ned Rig bait. Here's some Lunker City Golden Shiners. Lunker City makes the lure I caught my first bass on, the Sluggo. And last but not least, we got some Zoom Tiny Flukes. Wow, amazing box, old toad. Thanks again, David. Great variety here. Let's check out the last one here. This one is sent to the show by Josh from Ivington, Ohio. Wow, here's a letter. Dear Realistic Fishing, I really appreciate you sticking up for the bank angler. Your no BS approach to fishing is one of my favorite reasons for watching your channel. The awesome deals you find, I wish I could find them. Thanks for cleaning up the fishing areas. Things like that keep them open. I put an old deep diver crankbait in here, not sure about its age, but I'm 39 and I've had it since I was 15. I think it came out of an old tackle box from the flea market. I really love the lure and mail unboxings. I can't wait to see mine on your show. Hopefully I sent you some cool stuff. Can't wait to see you fish with some of it. Keep up the awesome vids. You're doing good things, cleaning up the trash, keeping the parks open, and thanks for that. Sincerely, Josh. Keep it realistic. All right, Josh, thank you very much for sending something into the show. Let's see what's in the box. All right, we got some Lucky Strike Live Motion Drop Dead Craw. I have never seen this before. Here's another package of Live Motion. We have Lucky Swim. So it's a pedal tail swim bait, same brand. Here's a Lucky Strike Con Man 6.75 inch worm. That's pretty cool. All right, he included some glow sticks. This might come in handy. 12 pound Omniflex. This is my favorite all around line for bait caster bass fishing. If you're a noob, Hook yourself up with some 12 pound Omniflex. It's cheap, it's strong, you'll learn a lot. We got some cream little fishies. It's a little pre rigged swim bait. Same thing. Here's a package of Goody Ouchless Hair Ties. I use something very similar to this for wacky rigging. We'll give these a try, see if they're as strong as the Equate brand. Here's a Lucky Strike 3 8 ounce swimming jig. So we have a pre-rigged jig by Strike King. Here's a Lucky Strike crappie spinner. Here we have some one-inch gulp crickets. 
This looks like it'll be a good panfish bait. Here's another pre-rigged Strike King Bitsy Bug Jig with a craw already rigged. Here's another package of hair ties. This one is a little bit thin. I have tried this kind before and it didn't work too well for wacky rigging, but I might be able to find another use for it. Maybe I can use them in my own hair. Let's see what else we got. Here's a package of Eagle Claw Panfish Jig Heads. Alright, here's an old homemade spinner bait, or a... I'm not sure if this is homemade or not, actually. Pretty old. We also have some cream frisky frogs, little tiny plastic frogs here. Some more cream two inch minnow swim baits. And some cream little fishies. It has a unique swimming action. And a plastic bag. I think this is for this. We're going to put this in there. Got a few more items. Some more cream frisky frogs. Awesome. I was just about to buy some of these, but now I won't need to. We got some worm hooks here. One aught. Three aught. Another package of one aught. Those are great for fishing plastic worms. Some more frisky frogs and some more worm hooks. All right, we got an old crankbait here. Can I see the name on it? It says Natural Ike. So we have an old crankbait here. I think he said this came out of a tackle box from a flea market. With some new hooks, this might be a fishable bait. I'm not sure how old it is either, but it is pretty awesome. So we got this natural Ike crankbait. And finally, we have a box within a box. There is a lot of old jars of power bait in here. I'm not sure if they're old and dried up or not. This one is still pliable. So some of them are dried up. Some of them are still fishable. I'm going to sort them out a little later, but I am going to try and fish with one of these for your friend. Got a few other odds and ends in here. Got a little spinner bait here. Got some random soft plastics kind of loose in the box. And we got some lead sinkers, right? So this would be for some of that catfishing. Got a whole bunch. So these are nice heavy sinkers if you want to cast it out there and definitely be sitting on the bottom. I'm not sure what weight these are. They're not stamped, but I would guess two ounces or close. Pretty cool. So... Thanks again to Josh for sending this awesome variety of fishing lures into the show. I appreciate the old power bait that used to belong to your friend, some of the catfishing stuff, pan fishing stuff, bass fishing lures. It's all great, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. Thanks again to everyone who sends something into the show. Sometimes it's fishing lures, sometimes it's artwork. Sometimes it's a letter. Sometimes it's an antique. I appreciate all of the support in its many forms.
Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.